In this video, I want to talk about a subgroup lattice. Let's consider all possible subgroups of my group G. In order to build this, we start by putting G at the top and the trivial subgroup consisting of only the identity at the bottom. We then draw a line between two subgroups if one is contained in the other. And in general, we should only join a subgroup with a group further down the lattice. So we shouldn't be drawing lines left to right. They should all be vertical. We should go from one level of the lattice to the next. So let's look at an example. I want to build the subgroup lattice for Z12. So first we need to start by finding all of the possible subgroups of Z12. Let's start with the subgroup generated by 1. Well, this would contain 1, plus 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, 4, etc. So this would actually generate our entire group. So this tells me that this group is cyclic. And it turns out that every subgroup of a cyclic group is also cyclic. And I won't prove that directly, but I encourage you to try to prove that, that every subgroup of a cyclic group is also cyclic. If we look at this subgroup generated by 2, we would have 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10, and then plus 2 would get me back to 0. Generated by 3, I would have 3, plus 3 is 6, plus 3 is 9, plus 3 is 0. I can then look at the subgroup generated by 4. I would have 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 4 is 12. If I try to do this subgroup generated by 5, I actually get the whole set again. And you can try that out yourself. I highly encourage you to, but I'm not going to show it directly. The subgroup generated by 6 would be 6 and 0. And these here, along with my trivial subgroup, are all of the possible subgroups. And so I didn't prove all of them. I didn't show 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. I do encourage you to work out what those subgroups would be and see what they're equivalent to here. To actually build the lattice, we start with Z12 on the top and the trivial one on the bottom. I'm then going to put the subgroup generated by 2 and 3 here. And we draw these lines up since they are contained in Z12. I'm then going to put 4 and 6 down here. And the reason I put them down further at the bottom is because we can see the subgroup generated by 4 is completely contained in the subgroup generated by 2. So I need to connect those two so they should not be on the same row. The subgroup generated by 6, we can see, is also completely contained in the subgroup generated by 2, as well as the subgroup generated by 3. And then the empty set will connect to each of these. So essentially, if I follow paths, I get containment. The trivial subgroup is contained inside the subgroup generated by 4, which is inside the subgroup generated by 2, which is inside the subgroup generated by one or the entire group. And we can follow any path along here to get our inclusion. So this is the idea of a subgroup lattice. So let's look at another one. Let's look at Z16. We know we have the trivial group. And if we look at the subgroup generated by one, we'll get the entire set. If we look at the subgroup, subgroup generated by two, I would have two plus 2 is 4, plus 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10, and then we have 12, 14, and then we would go back to 0. We could also look at the subgroup generated by 4. This would be 4, plus 4 is 8, plus 4 is 12, plus 4 is back to 0. I also want to look at the subgroup generated by 8. That would be 8 plus 8 is 0. And this right here is actually all of the subgroups for this particular one. So we start with Z16 at the top and the trivial one at the bottom. 
And we can see we have containments as I go down here. So the subgroup generated by two. And then we'll do four since the subgroup generated by four is completely contained in the subgroup generated by two. And the subgroup generated by eight is completely contained in the subgroup generated by four. My lines got progressively smaller here. That was not on purpose, but that's okay. So this one is just a straight line for the subgroup lattice. I now want to look at Z30. If we look at the subgroup generated by one, that's going to be all of Z30. The subgroup generated by two, just like it has been, will be the evens. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, and then 30 gets me back to zero. The subgroup generated by three, this would be three, plus three is six, plus three is nine, plus three is 12, plus three is 15, plus three is 18, and then we have 21, 24, 27, and back to zero. Next, I'm gonna look at the subgroup generated by five. This would be five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then 30 gets me back to zero. This subgroup generated by six would be six, 12, 18, 24, and then back to zero. Next, we'll do 10. This is 10, 20, and then 30 would get me back to zero. And then finally, I'm gonna look at the subgroup generated by 15, which is 15 and then 30 would get me back to zero. And you can check all of the other subgroups, all of the other numbers, such as four, seven, eight, nine, et cetera, and show that they are all on this list. If I try to find, for instance, the subgroup generated by four, it's the same as the subgroup generated by two. And I highly encourage you to work out the rest of those subgroups and make sure my list is complete. Let's go ahead and look at some of our containments. Let's start with the subgroup generated by 15. We can see this is a, set, a subset of the subgroup generated by five, as well as a subset of the subgroup generated by three. The subgroup generated by 10 is also a subgroup of the subgroup generated by five, as well as the one generated by two. The subgroup generated by six is going to be a subset of the subgroup generated by three, as well as the subgroup generated by two. And that is going to be all of our containments. So 15, 10, and six need to be lower down on our list than five, three, and two. So if we go down a little bit, we'll put Z30 at the top. Here I'm gonna do two, three, and five, since they were not subsets of anything. Next, we would have six, 10, and 15, since they were subsets of higher subgroups, as we demonstrated here. 15 was contained inside of five and three. 10 was contained inside of five and two, and six was contained inside of three and two. And then finally at the very bottom we have our tri trivial subgroup. So here is the subgroup lattice for Z30.